It's late Saturday afternoon. The pet shop has a strange air of expectancy as I await my first assignment. After many months of training, I'm ready to follow the paw prints of those before me. Rover, Spot, Fido, dogs who struggle to make the home a safer place to live. And that's my job too. I'm a safety dog. How's the time going? It's almost six. Only one more thing to get. Yes, I know. It's this dog idea that worries me. But we've already discussed it. The boss loves dogs. Why, I'd love to come to dinner. We can talk over a few ideas I have in mind. Uh, you did say you have a dog. You know what I always say. Behind every good sales manager stands a loyal dog. <laughs> Let's get the dog. I don't know. There's so many to choose from. A dog's a dog. Just close your eyes and point. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, that one. We'll take that one. Wonderful. Great choice. Let's go. I think I'll call him Wally. I make my way to the car. Everything checks out. I fasten my seatbelt. I notice my fellow traveler is not wearing his seatbelt. But before I can correct the situation... Bernard, the light! <coughs> the car stops. I run out. I make the necessary purchase. I run back to the car and re-enter the vehicle. The child is now safe. Honey, the moose! Okay, fella, the front seat's for people. Dogs ride in the back. Bernard, stop playing with Wally and let's get home. This is it, dog, your new home. Close the door, dog. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, my goodness, I didn't realize this place was such a mess. You vacuum upstairs. I'll dust down here. Okay, honey, I'll have it done in no time. Whoops. Uh, I'll fix it later. As I look around, I have an uneasy feeling. A telephone. I knew it. No emergency numbers. This home could be in for real trouble. Bernard, when you're finished up there, will you set the table? I'll start the dinner. Be right down. A scream sends chills up my tail. I know what to do. Remove the hazard. Save the victim. I'm not looking for praise. To serve is my only reward. I think you'd better lie low till you're needed. Uh, thinking it wise to lower my profile. Oh, what's this? Looks like it could be fun. Most stimulating. <laughs> Remind me in future to close the basement door. Where's the tablecloth? You'll have to iron one! Oh boy, I love to iron. My companion is cute, but innocent. For the moment, my companion seems to have eluded me. My escape is narrow. I place the sharp object out of reach. This time I'm ready. At last, the little tyke has nowhere to hide. As I gain consciousness, a new danger confronts me. What's wrong? Oh, that. Okay, okay, paranoid dog. Now, hold it steady. Stop shaking the ladder. Oh, no. Did you catch it, dog? 
Hand it up. Don't drop it. <laughs> Are you always this helpful? <laughs> My ability to handle complex situations is almost legendary. It's time to test that legend. What the? What are you? Some kind of jinx dog? What was that? Uh, uh, uh nothing. <laughs> now you just fix these dishes and no more tricks. The dog's learning to juggle. Having restored the dishes to their former perfection, I must now hunt down the tablecloth. Finding a quiet corner, I take time to catch up on some homework. But wait! All is not well. You've ruined the cauliflower. I'll have to make frozen peas instead. Upon completing my chores, I catch sight of a child disappearing into the refrigerator. At once, I take up the point position, as taught in Section 5, Paragraph 3 of Every Dog's Guide to Complete Home Safety. Oh, my baby! Good dog, Wally. Yes, of course. You've earned it. The sight of food is most gratifying. Croutons. Ah. Oh, Bernard, you haven't repaired this table yet. I see the problem. It needs a block of wood. I'll go down and find something. You do that, Bernard. I'll put Baby to bed. Let's see. I think I saw some wood over in the corner. Time for a diaper change. Then off to bed, Devise. Don't move. check the vegetables. Believing the child to be abandoned, I take it upon myself to put the little one to bed. These old cribs always give me trouble. A cocktail, I tell myself, would be in perfect order. The cocktail, however, must wait. Here's a nice piece, uh, but too long. Now you quit that. Nothing's going to happen. Just wait upstairs. You're making me nervous. Maybe I'm going to need two cocktails. Whoops! How did that happen? Oh, the trigger spring has gone on this one. Uh, but I'll tape it up. Oh, no. It's dead. I think I blew a fuse. 15 amp fuse only. Gee, I only have a 30 amp. Guess it'll do. That's all I need. Help someone! Help! Somewhere in the back of my mind, I have an uneasy feeling. It slowly dawns on me events are getting a little out of hand. <laughs> Get outside, help. What's your line up there? They must have dropped the ball! No, no, it's that dog! He's wrecking our home! I think it's time to leave. My baby! Someone save my baby! I return upstairs. I'm pulling out an escape ladder I always have at hand. I climb down. To safety. I think they've moved. But all is not lost. There is still hope for the little one. When we get out of here, that crazy dog goes back to the pet shop.